Hey everybody and welcome to another One Piece video. I apologize for the rare uploads, but today I thought I'd talk about something interesting. It's been a long time since we got the preview for the Wano anime. That moment had every One Piece fan in shock. It was the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. Back then, most assumed this will only last for a couple of episodes. Now, many years later, the anime has put out some of the best episodes in One Piece history on a fairly regular, consistent basis. It didn't only maintain the quality of the early parts of the arc, it far exceeded it to heights no one has ever imagined. But how did it happen? And how does it continue to happen on a weekly TV show? When seasonal anime out there deal with less complex designs and still struggle a lot to put out a 12 episodes and some people think budget is the reason but budget plays a very minor role. The anime won't suddenly and magically increase its budget to keep it short, its time and talent. Producing an animated show takes an insanely large amount of time. A 12 episodes anime can take up to a year or more to finish. A few seconds of animation can take a month or more of work. So let's get into the process that allowed the One Piece anime to break the ceiling of a weekly TV show. With Wano starting, one man has stepped in to change the game. The veteran director Tatsuya Nagamine became the new series director for One Piece. Nagamine is a talent you don't find quite often. Taking a big responsibility over a gigantic weekly show is not something many would attempt to do. He has a record of producing great anime content like One Piece Film Z and Dragon Ball Super Broly. Both were big hits and well received in their respective fandoms. An example of how much of a game changer Nagamine can be is the Dragon Ball Super anime. Nagamine was involved in the Tournament of Power arc which undoubtedly outclasses every single arc prior to it in terms of quality. But despite that, the production of Dragon Ball Super has never reached the healthy state of current One Piece. A series director has many responsibilities. Nagamine succeeded in giving the staff a more appropriate work environment and better scheduling. Nagamine's mentality was to focus on the young talent and let them grow and trust them to handle major content. These young directors and animators are a driving force in the series right now and constantly aiming for the better. Too Young So was relatively new back in Dragon Ball Super and Pokemon. Now he's the pillar of One Piece's animation and without him, one would not reach such level of quality. Not only because of his fast output participating on most episodes, but he later was promoted to become an animation director. When you see his name on an episode, it's guaranteed to be a special one. Chief animation supervisors ensure every episode is as polished as possible. Keiichi Ichikawa made his debut on Zo, and to this day you'll see his exceptional corrections in nearly every single episode. Young directors like Ishitani or Yosuke Tanaka has managed to put out some of the best episodes in the franchise. But the reason the One Piece anime has such quality now is not only the efforts of Nagamine. Nagamine was the driving force. The series has extremely dedicated production managers. If you're wondering how an episode like 1015 exists, it was the production manager Akahori who got Ishitani to work on it and brought some of the best animators in the industry. Each assistant production manager nowadays searches and invites animators to work on the episodes, which resulted in giving animators from all over the world a chance to participate on One Piece. And nowadays, that's extremely difficult considering the overproduction in the industry and the lack of animators in comparison to the amount of shows. Now let's talk about the art style. Midori Matsura has become the character designer for the Wano art. A very refreshing aspect of the change in One Piece's visuals, her designs really capture Oda's modern art style and overall I'm satisfied with the results. Many people think Wano looks like this because of Shintani who was the character designer for Dragon Ball Super Broly, but there's also many aspects that go into the visuals to make Wano this polished. One of which is Asahi Production who became the compositing team. This is easily one of the biggest turning points in One Piece's visuals. You will notice the lighting and over photography is on a different league now in this arc compared to any previous one. Asahi production has been an essential player in making one of the beast it is right now. 
Toei has also applied a line filter to Wano, the same one used for DBS Final Arc, which was first used on Tiger Mask W. It's very appealing and it's a turning point not only for One Piece but also Toei in general. The One Piece anime now has built a very strong core staff, and even with Film Red being in the background and taking a big portion of the staff, it still managed to put out some of the best episodes. Of course, there's still limitations to a weekly show, and despite how unforgiving the fandom is for any minor flaw, it's good to keep things realistic. Not every episode can look like the best episodes, and that applies to seasonal anime as well. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm planning on focusing more on anime related content, so if you're interested in knowing more about the animators and directors, stay tuned, like and sub, see you later.